Hello adventurers! Do you want to off-road in summer as well as winter in hot summer? Then sit back, relax, while I explain to you how you can do that. Hello everyone, off-roaders, adventurers, and welcome to another video with Buzai. Today I'll explain to you how you can off-road in hot summer. Whoa, 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 hold on. Who goes off-road in summer? It's very hot outside! Are you crazy? Yes. It's like 50 degrees I mean, outside. in hot summer when it's like 50 degrees outside. Really? How is that Okay, possible? and able to do that, don't worry about this guy. And able to do that, you just need to follow six steps. Just six points I follow and I can go off-road in summer? Step number one, make sure that you have a fully serviced car what do you mean fully serviced car yes my car can drive and what do i mean by fully serviced car is you have all the car fluids tipped up and you have your filter cleaned and you solve any heating issue of your car and most importantly you have a fully functional air condition make sure you have a fully functional air condition when you go off-road in summer the second part or the second point that you need to take into consideration is you need to plan your trip what do i mean by plan your trip i mean that you select the location where you can be close to the road or where you have a mobile reception over there in case something happens so you don't get stranded in the hot sun and also when we're talking about the hot sun always try to plan your off-road as early as possible at sunrise and the new UAE according to the experience is try to plan your trip before nine o'clock the minute it starts at nine o'clock the sun heats the sand and the wind just blow the sands all over the place so try as much as you can before nine o'clock now if you want to drive after nine o'clock that's totally up to you but i would recommend that you drive as early as morning now a lot of you will ask me so what about night drive well you can do a night drive however you need to have some extra stuff like off-road lights and at nights it's actually more dangerous to drive at night especially if you're not very experienced guy so i would say stick to early morning it's nice it's nice breeze in the morning and you'll enjoy the drive third point is make sure you have an off-road buddy oh yeah I'm yes an off -road you buddy. are an off-road buddy i'm going with you and most importantly when you select an off-road buddy most importantly if you can have someone with another car as well don't go out off-road with one car especially in summer so if one car broke down or you get stuck the other uh, off-road or buddy can help you point number four is to carry more drinking water more and more do i carry oh, you don't carry a full tank, tank. what do you mean by what, tank? You I don't have a water drinking water. water tank in my car just bring some more bottles of water so bring some more water if you want to also bring some drinks with you make sure that you put them in a fridge or a cooler something like this is a cooler and put the ice brick like this on top just to make sure that your drinks stay calm over here and if you're going for a longer trips then you can also put ice in the cooler and once the ice melt don't throw that water cube because it's going to keep all your food and uh, drinks here cold point number five is if you plan to sit somewhere look for a shadow look for a tree a shadow where you can sit under the shadow if it's summer i don't want to step out of my car well uh, i'm i'm with you on that i will never actually in summer sit outside of my car especially in this desert it's really hot over here 
point number six and as the final point is make sure that you wear a comfortable cloth and especially boot oh yeah a boot here's here's yeah a boot. yeah that's that's a Here. that's a nice boot yeah that's a nice boot the reason for the boot is if you get stuck or you need to get out of your car the hot sand will burn your feet so you need a really good boot to actually save your foot from the hot sand so those six points are the points that you need to follow when you go off-road in summer so please don't stop off-roading in summer just because it's hot outside follow those six steps and you will be out of roading in summer in no time and yeah by the way there is nothing left in your cooler because i took everything in your cooler oh yeah you can do that thank you for watching this episode with Bazaar. i hope that you have enjoyed it i have you have learned something new and i hope that you decide to continue off-roading even in summer and keep exploring enjoy your off-road life and this is Buzayed. I'll see you on the next adventure. Over and out.